Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are super well and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Sophie Hannah here. I am about to get ready because Robin and I are going to London. It's a Sunday night and this is very different for us. Normally we'd be downstairs chilling in the living room and getting cozy on the sofa. But basically my sister and her husband got us a voucher last year for Christmas to go to the Ivy Asia um, in London, which is super cute. So yeah, we're finally, literally in nearly a year later, uh, finally booked a table and we are going there tonight, which reminds me I need to go and grab the voucher and make sure I take it with us. Otherwise, there is no point to this. Uh, but yeah, I thought I would um, get ready with you guys. So I've done my makeup, just done a simple, like, I say simple, but you guys are probably like, hey, that is not simple. But a graphic liner with like my inner corner, like, point like pointy sharp sharpness um i don't know what you call that uh nude lip and then i've just popped my hair up like this with the hair flicking out the bottom have not done this in so long i love it so cute um so yeah let's find an outfit so i'm gonna pop on this top from misguided really really cute it's got like the shoulders out and like little puffy sleeves so i'm gonna pop that on so it looks like this really cute and then it's got this like little lacy kind of bit at the front that ties around now it does have a matching skirt but i'm not gonna wear it because i'm gonna go a bit a bit like dressy cash because it's dinner um i've got my black faux leather motel rocks trousers so i'm gonna pop those on okay i changed my mind i've gone for my faux leather tight flared leggings from h&m instead because i feel like it sits a bit nicer with this front bit and then I'm basically just gonna loosely knot it at the back and then I'm gonna tuck it in because basically it's meant to kind of sit with the skirt that I got um, but I'm just thinking if I just tuck it in to the leggings and then tuck the front bit in it will kind of just sit in with the trousers i think that looks all right yeah what do we think i think that looks all right then shoes and bag i'm thinking i might go lime green okay so i'm gonna do my chia boots and my by far bag cute i think that looks nice with the zebra and then i'm gonna accessorize with some silver jewelry i'm gonna spritz my chanel perfume and then let's pop on some of my silver rings. Just got all these ones from Pandora. And then necklace. I feel like I need a necklace, don't I? Okay, I've gone for a chunky silver chain necklace. I'm going for these silver earrings. Cute. Um, okay, I feel like I'm really ready. Okay, guys, so this is my outfit. What do we think I think it looks really cute i'm loving the um bag and the matching boots works so well and then the zebra print top with these faux leather leggings which guys they're only 15 pounds such a bargain and i really love this like like triangle kind of pointed waistband really flattering um and also they're just super super comfy so yeah obsessed Cute, let's go to London guys. We're going to the Ivy Asia and we are gonna have sushi. I think you guys are gonna start learning that mine and Robin's new obsession is sushi. We literally love it so much. It is our favorite cuisine. Um, so yeah, anyway, we are so looking forward to tonight. Must remember that voucher. Calling you up at two in the morning. But you don't wanna talk, you don't wanna bother. Yeah, so I took another shot, let my brain do the walking I don't wanna be your friend, I want something real Maybe if I say the night, you could feel the same And maybe if you treat me right, we could rearrange But I'm not even gonna try, if you don't wanna stay So how's it gonna be, you got me on my knees I don't need no roses on my bed I could pull you closer to me, babe Ain't nobody touch me like you can I just need some closure, a little closure I don't need no process on my bed Just finished filming my 
candy cane queen look. Um, don't want to show it all to you guys because I want you to go and check out the TikTok, all the reels on my Instagram. Um, just taking off the look now. How cool are these contact lenses, by the way? Um, they literally like worked so well for this look. Uh, really happy with how it turned out, actually. But yeah, taking it off now, which seems like such a shame, all of that work and just wiping it off. Um, but video is already up. Is it already up? Yeah, I think the video is already up, so do go and check it out. Also, guys, last night, the Ivy Asia, oh my God, if you've not been, you have to go. The food was incredible. The cocktails were incredible. The decor, the vibe, the music, like, oh, we had the best time, had the best date night, and yeah, highly recommend going if you have not been. Um, but yeah, right, time to get this off. Where is my Elemis cleansing balm? Because that's what I need. Guys, let's have a catch up. I um, feel like I haven't vlogged in like two days. Um, I have just finished packing because I'm going to London tonight. Super exciting. I'm going to an Isla event and I'm staying at the Shard. Now that is something I've always wanted to do. Um, so yeah, feeling super grateful for this event tonight. So staying at the Shard with Isla and there were also going for dinner at Hutong, which is inside the Shard. I think it's like Chinese cuisine. Um, yeah, so a very exciting night. Uh, a couple of people that I know that are going that I haven't seen for ages. So yeah, it's going to be a really cute night. And then, what else do I need to update you on? Luna. So, <laughs> I mean, it's literally the best news we could have ever, uh, ever had asked for. Um, but basically... If you haven't kept up with this story, but most of you tend to watch my vlogs and tune in every week. But basically, Lu I found a lump on Luna. We got it tested and the lab came back and said it's highly suggestive that it is um, skin cancer, melanoma, very aggressive uh, cancer in dogs. And they were, they were worried that it spread to her lymph nodes and her like lungs maybe or a stomach. And basically... They needed to cut the lump out and check everything because they were worried that it might have spread. Um, so anyway, so we did that. We put her under. She had surgery, got the lump removed. Um, didn't spread to lymph nodes or her stomach or anything. And she's absolutely fine. They cut the lump out and they were sending the lump off for testing. Now, we got a call that basically said it hadn't spread. So we were like, oh, amazing. But then we were doing one more final test, which was still yet to hear. Well, actually... I don't think that even matters anymore. Anyway, we were waiting for one final test to basically tell us if there were still cancerous cells in her blood, um, like anywhere else in the body that could maybe develop into cancer in the future. Anyway, we then got a phone call basically saying that um, they still hadn't... No, they tested the lump, and which we thought they'd already done because they'd basically told us that it hadn't spread. I don't know, it's all just been very, very weird, but basically they test, They eventually tested the lump, which we thought they'd already done because they told us it hadn't spread and they confirmed it was a tumour. I don't know, it was so weird. But basically all of their findings, I think were just suggestive um, and nothing was actually certain until we literally got the phone call the other day and basically they, they didn't know what lump it was um, and they were finding, it basically it wasn't skin cancer in the end. They weren't sure what the lump was, so they had to test it again. Um, and this time now it's a, a, some sort of benign lump. So actually Luna was fine all along and it was just a benign lump. And you know when you're just like, I can't quite believe this because we've literally been left to think for like five weeks that our little baby is like dying with a really aggressive skin cancer. When in fact, actually it was just a benign lump that they weren't really sure what the lump is. And it's benign and there's nothing to worry about. And she's all fine. And you're just like, obviously that's the best news ever. To hear that she's actually okay. But you know when you're like, I find it baffling that like they spoke to us. And said like, literally it's 99.9% this aggressive cancer. It's melanoma. It's really aggressive in dogs. Like we need to check it if it has if it's spread. Like all of this stuff when actually 
I feel like they should have just been like, oh, we're not sure what this lump is, but we really recommend you getting it cut off because it could be quite serious, but we can't confirm anything. Like, they didn't say any of that. They basically, literally, like, from our point of view, acted as if she had skin cancer and that it was really aggressive and they were checking all over and, like, she was going to die. But actually, she's fine. You know when you're just like, I could... Anyway... She's fine, which is amazing. Um, so we went through all of that. Oh, it's hard because I feel like we went through all of that for nothing. But then at the same time, I would have done it again because I would have wanted to have known what that lump was. And I wanted it to be cut off her because uh, it didn't look very nice. And it was very smelly. And like, yeah, so like, it's just a bit of a shit situation. But it's a great situation now because she's actually all clear and she's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, touch wood, she continues being her healthy little self because she has been healthy all along. <laughs> um, so yeah, bit of a weird one, but just super grateful that actually it's ended up being amazing news, um, considering what we thought it was to start with. So yeah, um, thank you so much though for sending your love and support for Luna and having her in your prayers because I mean I feel like it's worked so honestly thank you guys so much um, so sweet of you but yeah anyways Luna's absolutely fine which is amazing so pretty much all packed up ready to head to London let's go to the Shard guys I'm so excited I'm going to take you guys with me I'll show you around the room take you to dinner um, I've actually got another event tomorrow but I'll fill you in on that tomorrow Let's go to London. Just checked into the Shard. Oh my God. The room is insane. The bathroom is huge. The view is incredible. Let me show you around. So when you walk in, we've got a huge bed. Like, look how big this bed is. It's mental. Got a full length mirror, which is super handy. Wardrobe. Let me show you the bathroom because it's incredible. Look at this bath. Oh my God. And the sink. The lighting is amazing in here as well. Then we've got a shower. This is just incredible. And then we've got the view. Honestly, guys, this is mental. Oh, and then we come around. And then we've got like a little seating area. The view again is insane. And then we've got this little desk area here. Like, wow. Just, wow, look at that. London lit up at night. Sorry, might have heard like a doorbell then. Um, they were just bringing up my luggage. Um, but yeah, oh my God, honestly guys, this room is insane. I've always wanted to stay here. It just looks so lush. I just can't get over the view. Like, it's incredible. And when you walk into the room, the blinds are down and then they like automatically rise up when you get in. So then you like, it reveals the view. It's just incredible. Um, I can see the London eye, like, oh, so cool. Then in the room, I've got some goodies from Eilor. Oh, they've given me a bottle of Tattinger, amazing. Um, and I've got some goodies in here. So, oh my God, they've given me like bath bits so I can use it in the bath. I've got some, Press on nails, lashes, gonna need those tonight to get ready. Oh, these are amazing. Oh my God, they give me so many lashes. <gasps> Which ones do I pick? What else have we got? Oh, I like these ones. Oh, little sweeties. Amazing. Oh, frappuccino, I'm gonna put that in the fridge. Right guys, well, I've got dinner in I think like two hours. So I'm gonna, have a bath I think because I mean that bath looks incredible um and then I'm gonna start getting ready so I need to do my makeup my hair um I'm gonna film some TikToks um so yeah I will check back in with you guys when I'm ready show my outfit show my makeup and then we'll go to dinner this is the sort of stuff that I have to do in hotel rooms to, <laughs> to uh, be able to film like my phone's up there cannot touch my phone because I've started a TikTok and I need to finish it then I've got my ring light there and I found this table in the bathroom to use to balance my camera on. And I'm gonna sit on the floor and do my makeup because I need to use the light for that camera. First world problems for an influencer staying in a hotel room and I've only bought like a minimal tripod and lights. 
So guys, I am all ready for dinner. I just filmed um, a few TikToks. So annoying, the lighting is just like incredibly difficult um, in this hotel room. Um, so yeah, super annoying, but I, I don't know, I kind of made it work, so be fine for TikTok. Um, but yeah, I just filmed this makeup look. You guys might kind of recognize it. I tried to like recreate Adele's um, makeup look of a recent look that she did. Um, it's so beau, I'm frigging loving it. And obviously I've got some Eyelore lashes on, so fluffy. And then this is my outfit. So I've got on this cobalt from House of Sunny, paired with this brown lace bralette that I got from um, Urban Outfitters. It's like a little corset bralette thing. Um, but yeah, brown and cream themed for tonight's dinner. That's so cool. Three of me. Anyways, guys, let's go for dinner. Starving, and I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever been to this restaurant before. But yeah, let's go. Ain't nobody touch me like you can. I just need some closure, a little closure. I just need some This is this morning's view, guys. How incredible is that? Guys, I'm all dressed up, glammed up, and ready for an evening with Benefit. They are hosting a Thanksgiving, or Friendsgiving, um, dinner in London. Super excited. Um, and then we might potentially be going to the box afterwards. Um, not sure if I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see how I go, see how the night goes. Um, and then bless them, they've got me a car home, which is nice. Um, but let me show you my makeup. So this is my makeup. I've done like glitter eyes, um, inspired by Greta of Instagram. I will link her Instagram below. She did like a similar look, but with gold glitter. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath because I've been rushing around. Um, but yeah, so, so beautiful and sparkly. Um, feeling super Christmassy actually. And then let me show you my dress because it's honestly unreal. It's from Bershka. Also, by the way, I did film a tutorial for this, which will be up soon on my Instagram. Then this is the dress from Bershka. How beautiful is it? It's got like this little tie bit that crosses over at the front. It's like full on glitter. I mean, like it is going everywhere, um, but it's absolutely fine. Um, and it's like a silvery kind of lilac-y color. Like it's kind of got like pink lining. Um, but yes, yeah, so. So beaut and sparkly. Such a beaut outfit. Let's go to London, guys. Round two, mental. Feel like I feel like I just need to live in London. This is why, guys. This is why I want to live in London, just because everything's like picked up again, just work-wise. <sighs> just be good to live in London, wouldn't it? But hey ho, gonna have to get like a two-hour car home. It's all good. Tell me apart when I know you don't want me. Cause I've been going fast and you wanna go slowly Maybe I'm just wasting time Tell me how you feel I don't wanna be a friend I want something real Maybe if I say the night You could feel the same And maybe if you treat me right We can rearrange But I'm not even gonna try If you don't wanna stay So how's it gonna be? You look at me on my knees I don't need no roses on my bed I could pull you closer to me, babe. Ain't nobody touched me. Guys, last night was so freaking cute. Um, Benefit like pulled out all the stops, the decor, the table. Like it really reminded me of the pink house where I got ready for my wedding, Eaton House Studios. Um, I just loved it. All the candles, all the flowers, it was like all pink themed, obviously, because of Benefit. The music was amazing. Um, so many people to catch up with um yeah it was just a really really nice evening and it's so hilarious that they did like a little squid game um honeycomb task thing for us so funny um but yeah home now and i am doing another diy christmas headpiece so i'm doing a nutcracker makeup look but i need a nutcracker like crown so i went to hobbycraft i ordered some bits on amazon and we're going to try and make one I mean, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Got some card. I've got some, like, satiny fabric. I've got 
some like Christmassy bits here. I've got this like edging, like silver fabric for the edge. I've got some little balls. Um, I've got some gems. Yeah, we're going to give this a go. Oh, and I've got um, spray paint too. So welcome back to Sophie's DIY session. I feel like I need a better name for that. So if anyone can think of a better name for like my little DIY sessions, let me know. Um, what is that in the corner? Oh, it's, oh, it's the window. I thought my screen was like black in the corner there. Um, okay, so I need to spray paint these and let them dry. Probably should do this outside really, but I've got some card to do it on. Basically, these are going to go around the top of the crown, just like little pom-pom balls. Uh, probably don't want too big a size. Maybe this size will be okay. So I want to spray paint some of these. I'm going to roll everywhere. Okay, so I've got six of these little balls. So I'm going to need to make six points in the crown because they're going to go on top of the points. Um, so maybe I should do that first. So I've got my gold card um, and I'm just going to kind of draw a crown shape and then make kind of like a paper crown like you used to do as a kid i feel like that's probably going to be the easiest thing to do right i need to measure my head somehow because obviously it needs to fit so i guess like how do i do this oh it goes to there doesn't it I just make a little nook with my nail. Is that dented? Oh yeah, cool. Okay. So I'm just going to use a pen to mark that out. Okay, now we can start sketching the shape. I don't have a ruler, um, so I'm just going to wing it and hopefully it's okay. So I've marked some lines on my card and this is where I'm going to kind of like draw the crown from. Like this is what's going to help me. So, yeah, I'm going to start cutting. Okay, cut it out. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so I've made like a little slip thing, like on the end to like slip into this. So I need to make a little line. And then, yeah, and then I'll just like glue gun it, I reckon. Okay, guys. Ta-da! So I've made the base of the crown. Now I can start accessorizing it. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna do like a bit of a puffy kind of satin center. The balls around the top, some gems and then a trim. So let's turn the glue gun on. So I've added on some silver trim. Okay, so I've got some pink satin fabric and then what I'm gonna do is just grab some kitchen roll. I'm just gonna scrunch up some pieces because I basically wanna make like a bit of a satin cushion to sit inside the top of the crown. So I'm literally just gonna kind of scrunch some bits together. And then I'm gonna wrap the satin around it. And then that will kind of sit, hopefully, in the top of the crown, like this. I think it needs to just go up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna somehow glue it together. So now I am putting the little balls on top of the spikes, but I basically spray painted some and they basically kind of half disintegrated, obviously, because they're foam. So I thought I might actually just paint them with some makeup. I've got some like face paint upstairs. So I'm just gonna just pop them on for now. So what all I did was I used a, um, what is this? Like a scalpel? It's not a scalpel. What's it called? Like a carving knife. Carving knife? Is it a carving knife? A carving knife. And I uh, just popped a tiny little slit in the foam ball so then it can literally slot on the point. Alexa, super easy. <laughs> this is hilarious, oh my Lord. I don't even know if this looks good, but anyway. 
It looks like my inspo from Pinterest. I'll pop it on the screen. Um, yeah. I'm just going to paint those little balls silver. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. But I think when I've done like the full look, I think it will work really, really well. Um, yeah. But for now, this is my nut, nut, no, 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 nut cracker hat. So I've just got this silver paint from uh, Meron Face and Body. And then I'm just going to paint them. Yeah, this has worked so well already. Perfect. So the base is all done. I have painted the pom-poms. It looks so good. And yeah, basically all I'm going to do is slot that. <laughs> I had a five guys, by the way. Slot the cushion that I made into here when I actually film. Oh, I've got paint everywhere. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be easier like that. So literally I just slot that in and then it can just like balance on my head. Um, so yeah, I'm all done and ready and I'm going to shoot my Nutcracker look tomorrow. So once I've filmed it, I will show you a little sneaky peek. Uh, don't want to give too much away, but it will be up on my channel this week. So do watch out for it. Hope you enjoyed my little DIY. Happy Sunday, guys. Um, I'm having a cup of tea. I'm in my new pyjamas from Chelsea Piers. Christmas PJs. So cute. Uh, sorry if I look like a mess. Like, yeah just woken up um i was gonna film my nutcracker makeup look today but i'm not going to now i'm gonna postpone it a couple of days just because actually i don't really need to film it today um so instead we're gonna go get a christmas tree um but obviously i leave my vlog here because i end my vlog on sunday mornings and then i start a new one so yeah next week you will see my nutcracker makeup look um putting up a christmas tree i've got an exciting photo shoot next week guys which i'll be able to film like a few little snippets of behind the scenes but um yeah, I'll be able to fully reveal it next week, hopefully. Um, I'll probably reveal it before the vlog goes out, to be honest with you. Um, actually, I'll probably be able to reveal it in the vlog as well. Um, but yeah, super exciting. But I thought I'd just say thanks for watching my weekly vlog. I feel like I had a little kind of snippet of my old life this week, which has felt so nice. Um, like blogger events and stuff and just oh honestly like just a little tiny snippet of what my old life used to be like which is something I've been craving for so long like it's mental that my work life still has only really just started to go back to normal obviously I know there's a new variant now which I don't even want to think about or even look at because I'm just like please don't take my life back away from me um but yeah it will be what it will be i guess um but i'm gonna love you and leave you here guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in another vlog very very soon peace out